Hi everyone, this is Jason. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a walkthrough of the new Shapeshift.io platform that is currently in beta. So if you have received a code to be able to access the beta, once you enter that and go through the I accept um, terms and things like that of the uh, beta, you'll be directed to log in. You only have to enter that code once because then you can just log in. To fully utilize the website, you're going to need to have a KeepKey hard wallet that uh, you can buy from Amazon or through Shapeshift. As you can see, I've sent some funds to the hard wallet so we could test it out, but the hard wallet is currently not connected. So I'm going to connect it now. Now the hard wallet is syncing and you want to enter your PIN number. Now, if you've seen the heart wallet, you know that the pin brings up nine digits, but the nine digits are in random order. So even if you have a four digit pin number, it's more difficult for someone to guess what it is because the numbers appear on a random order on your heart wallet and you enter it based on what the heart wallet shows versus what the commonly remembered um, digits would be. Commonly you would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but that's not how the digits appear on the hard wallet, which makes it more secure. So as you'll see in the top right corner, it says keep key connected, so we're ready to go. So the, at the top, you'll see your send and receive options. When you send, um, it's going to ask you what you want to send, uh, for example, we have Ethereum in this wallet, so that's really the only thing we can select. So we're going to click on that, and it's going to show how much Ethereum we currently have available. The other option is to receive, and you can pick whatever you like. Uh, let's say Bitcoin Cash, and you click Next, and then your address appears, and a QR code to scan appears as well. I want to show you around the dashboard, which is your home page. It shows the current value of your portfolio and then how much has changed in the day. <clears throat> you can choose to view it by hourly, by day, week, month, year. When you scroll down, you'll see the Ethereum, the amount. The, how much it is currently valued in USD or your local currency, how much has changed in the today and the trend line, and how much of your portfolio is that coin. The next tab we're going to look at is the assets tab, which shows you all the different coins you can trade on Shapeshift. So because Ethereum is our coin with uh, balance, it appears first, shows you the current market price of Ethereum, its market cap, and its 24-hour volume. And below that, you'll see the Ethereum asset, how it was received to the wallet, which was a QR scan. Um, the amount of the Ethereum, its current value in USD, its status, which is confirmed, and the transaction details. Now below that is where the real fun happens. This is where you get to trade it from one coin to another. Now you have to remember that there are fees involved in this, so you don't want to put max, especially when you're dealing with Ethereum, because Ethereum is how a lot of these transactions get sent around. So we're going to put half, and then we're going to select a coin to change it into. Uh, let's say, let's change it to Litecoin. Okay, so $5.13 USD are 0 0.032005 ETH will give us $5.05 .05 USD 
are 0 0.0691476 LTC. So we'll hit trade. And then your it'll ask for your pin again. And if you're looking at your hard wallet, you'll notice that the pin numbers are in a random order change from the order that you saw when you first entered your pin the first time. Okay, transaction is running. And then you want to confirm the transaction on your hard wallet. And as you can see, the process has begun. Next down is the settings tab where you'll see details of the account, uh, such as your membership level, your yearly exchange rate discount, transaction limits, box cash back, uh, percentage, value cap on discount and cash back. And then also you'll see your keep key. Now you want to avoid pressing forget or wipe because that, as the name suggests, will either forget your keep key from the site or wipe your keep key. And unless you're being, uh, unless you're afraid that your keep key is going to be compromised, you want to avoid those options. On the right, you'll see a drop down so you can select your currency of choice in fiat. And below that, the platform defaults to BTC. I'm not sure if in the future if that will change, but right now it defaults to BTC. And if you look at the top right corner, you'll see that the value of funds available in the keep key has decreased to $5.12. Let's go back to the asset tab. Now you'll see the transaction for cent has been added and the status is being confirmed. There it is. Okay, so as you can see, Litecoin has been added to our portfolio. Uh, 0 0.068778 Litecoin, a value of $5.04. You're gonna see how much it has changed in the day and its trend line. And we have two assets, 50-50 allocation. Let's go back to the assets tab. And as you can see, Ethereum and Litecoin are the two at the top because they're the only ones in our portfolio that have a current balance. As you can see, this version of Shapeshift has a lot more information than the previous version, where the previous version was primarily um, enter address here, enter address here, conduct transaction. This one actually allows you to see a, a better picture of your portfolio based on your keep key wallet. I'd like to thank everyone for coming by and watching this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also find me on social media. I can be found at Dragon Wolf Tech across all platforms. Thank you and have a good day.